The first step in managing incontinence is to get the facts. This video, along with Prevail.com, are excellent resources, but it is also important to speak with your doctor regarding the causes and recommended treatments and products. When discussing incontinence with your doctor, he or she will likely work with you to make a list of any risk factors that could have led to the development of incontinence, such as pelvic trauma or surgery, medication side effects or use of diuretics, weakened pelvic muscles, previous urinary tract or renal problems, cognitive impairments, neuromuscular impairments, environmental hazards, poor nutrition, multiple vaginal births, obesity or weight gain, excessive high-impact activities or exercises like jogging or aerobics. You will also likely be asked about your family history, your physical and cognitive limitations, and your urinary pattern. How frequently do you go? How much do you pass? What time of day are you urinating? And are you waking up at night to go to the bathroom? It's a good idea to keep a bladder and bowel diary for a few days before your appointment so your doctor can easily and quickly offer the best treatment options. A bowel and bladder diary form can be downloaded from Prevail.com, as well as a list of foods and medications that may also be impacting your level of continence. Your doctor may also follow up with some tests and ask you to monitor your fluid intake and urine output for a period of time. You and your doctor will then determine the type of incontinence you have. The most common types of incontinence are stress, urge, and overflow. Stress incontinence is when there are small amounts of involuntary bladder leakage. The amount can range from just a few drops to dribbling and is most common in women. This leakage usually occurs with a laugh, cough, sneeze, or some kind of exertion like lifting or exercising. Urge incontinence happens when the bladder muscles squeeze too often or when you don't want it to. A person dealing with urge incontinence knows they need to go and usually has frequent, strong and sudden urges to go, but cannot always make it to the bathroom in time. This is a very common type of incontinence and is sometimes referred to as an overactive bladder and occurs twice as frequently in women as in men. Sometimes someone dealing with urge incontinence will also be stress incontinent. Overflow incontinence is when urine overflows and leaks out of the bladder once the bladder has reached certain fullness. Overflow is often accompanied by dribbling and the frequency and urgency that one urinates increases. Overflow incontinence can be caused by an obstruction, a diseased bladder, an enlarged prostate, or a fecal impaction. Based on the type and level of incontinence you are managing, your doctor may recommend absorbent products by themselves as a method of treatment, or your doctor may have other treatment options, such as diet, Kegel exercises, and medication, and absorbent incontinence products would be useful to supplement these options. You might end up using one style of product for your daytime activities and a different one overnight for a good night's sleep. If you and your doctor have determined that there is only a need for light protection because of stress or minor urge incontinence, pads or guards are a good choice. Prevail male guards and bladder control pads are very easy to use and very intuitive. There is an adhesive strip on the back and the pad fits discreetly and comfortably in your own underwear. There are different pads based on absorbency needs. These absorbencies range from very light for a few drips to ultimate which can handle a full gush. In addition to absorbency, there are also regular and long sizes, which refer to the pad's length and is based on personal preference. You might wonder if you could use a feminine hygiene or maxi pad for incontinence protection. Feminine hygiene pads are poor substitutes for a variety of reasons. They are designed to absorb a different type of fluid and will not lock up the wetness from bladder leakage as effectively. They also do not manage odors that can be associated with incontinence. Prevail bladder control pads are designed to absorb more than one episode of leakage and still keep you comfortable, and they also reduce the odor that can be associated with incontinence.